Well, good morning. I'm down in Cades Cove in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And this morning, I'm going to be trying to do some bird photography. So this is warbler season. They're migrating through the area right now. I've heard several different varieties of warblers this morning, uh, along with oven birds, uh, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna take a walk uh, in the woods here. I brought my uh, D500, okay, with my uh, 500 PF with me I'm carrying, and I'm just gonna carry it with me out through here. I'm not taking a tripod or anything to see if I can see any birds. I can hear them. So this is the area I'm walking through uh, where I'm hearing a lot of bird activity. And what I'm gonna do is just take my time and try to be still, as still as I can, and maybe find a log to sit down on back here in the woods. So I probably walked about 150 yards 200 yards off the road into the woods. This is a real interesting area back through here. There's a lot of trees. I've been looking up, trying to see if I see any owls. I hear a lot of different birds in here, but I can't tell exactly where they're at. I want to keep searching. This is a lot different from me uh, at home. <laughs> I have backyard bird, bird studio and perches. This is a whole lot different. I'm out here in the woods and I can see birds all around me. But what I'm learning is you need to sit down and be quiet and be still. So I found me a tree with the sunlight to my back shining through the forest here. And I'll show you what I'm looking at down and through this area here. And I've seen some birds on the ground. So I got down real low and I sat next to this tree right here trying to make myself look small. And I'm gonna be quiet now, see. I tell you one thing I do hear is a mockingbird. There's at least one of them near me and I've seen it flitter around in the treetops. But there are also some birds along the forest floor and I'm not sure what they are. I'm trying to get a, a good look at them to see. I might have to pull my Marlin app out and see if I can identify them by sound. What I've found at home, birds seem to react to movement. Um, you know, if you just go and be still for 10 or 15 minutes and there were birds near you that flew away, sometimes they'll come back if you just sit still. That's why I got like a chair blind at home. Uh, I'm over here in Cades Cove, so I didn't bring my chair blind with me today, but I do have a little hunting stool that if I choose to come out here and sit in the woods for a while, I could come out here and kind of be comfortable. Okay, what I thought was a mockingbird was not a mockingbird. It was a brown thrasher. And brown thrashers are pretty elusive they're awful jittery too. You gotta be real slow in movements. I was able to capture a few images through the branches and I'll show those to you right now. So I got up early this morning to do some bird photography, found some turkeys, a couple tom turkeys over there gobbling away. Anyways, um, 
I decided to stop and have me a little breakfast. So my wife made me some of these wraps. They're egg and sausage link and cheese and, uh, and a tortilla shell. And uh, I put a little mustard on mine and it got me some instant oatmeal and a little bit of coffee. If you want to call it coffee, it's instant coffee. <laughs> That's for you, Tim. I don't like to eat breakfast when I first get up in the morning. Even when I'm working, I don't usually eat anything until about 9 o'clock or so. It's already about 10 o'clock. But I was busy chasing down some birds. But the only picture I got was of a brown thrasher. And I thought it was a mockingbird, but they make a lot of chatter just like a mockingbird. So I was able to get one image. So I, I slept in my truck last night um, over at the Cage Cove campground and um, my heater ran out of propane in the middle of the night and it got down to 35 and like a big dummy, I forgot to bring my sleeping bag. So all I had was my army blanket, my wool blanket so my feet got a little cold. It wasn't too bad, but it was chilly. A little bit colder than I liked it to be. So it wasn't too bad. I just got up this morning and got going. Okay, I'm making me some supper. I'll turn this heat down just a little bit. So what I've got tonight for supper, the sun's really bright. Let's see if I can do something else about that. Whew. Okay, what I'm going to do for supper tonight is I'm melting some butter, a little bit of um, olive oil and some brown sugar in my frying pan. Well, the burgers look pretty good. Give them another five minutes on that side. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a hair. Okay, that's been about uh, 10 minutes. They're a little bit thick. That should be about medium rare.
They are. Yeah, it's medium rare, 10 minutes. Pretty good. I'm gonna turn this off while I eat.